All right, welcome back to our channel, Mega Team. Thanks for tuning into another video. We're going to be doing a quick update on Adam, and we're going to be looking at the technicals of this chart, talking about the price action, talking about our price predictions, and we're talking about the current move downwards over here between this eight dollar and nine dollar range. Pretty important, guys. So if you're interested in finding out about our price predictions and what we think is going to happen for this coin, stick around to the end of the video while we go through all the data and the technicals. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. So as always, we're going to go ahead and start with inputting our major support and resistance zones. We're going to use our VPV after that. We do have a few on the chart already. You can go ahead and see where we've got our POC line over here. We've got our $7 support and we have our major support resistance zone that we currently have uh, indicated by this gray box. We do have some major resistances moving up from there, sitting at around $11.30, lining up with this major point of contention over here, an area of support and resistance throughout that July, June bottom. Moving up from there, we have minor resistances throughout the rest of the chart. Obviously, we have a pretty major resistance sitting around over here. This is going to be a pretty important trend flip, and we can see that on the VPRPV, sorry. This is where we have that valley, and we start rising up again. At that point over here, we have that resistance, and it kind of continues upwards up until we reach this area that we have on the chart indicated around $19 to $20. So we're going to go ahead and put a $20 resistance in over here. And we're going to just identify this zone over here as a pretty major resistance support zone. Uh, at the moment, since the price is underneath this zone, we can go ahead and identify it as a pretty major resistance zone. And obviously, this is the zone we do need, we do need to flip on that short term to actually flip this trend and flip this entire downside price action and potentially move upwards. From there, we have various resistance and supports uh, moving upwards. We're not going to go into that today because we are quite uh, far from those points. We're going to be focusing more or less uh, down within this range. So now that we have our supports and resistances, we can go ahead and identify some macro structures. Obviously, we can see immediately some uptrending support lines over here that we can go ahead and draw right into the chart. And we can see this was our uptrending support line over here that we did actually break down from. And when we broke down from that support line, we had this... Um, snowballing effect of this pretty significant drop and this went took us around $22 all the way down to $9 um, over a 50% drop over here, 63% drop and landed us straight back into this major support zone. And this major support zone has acted as a pretty significant resistance uh, dating all the way back to August 2020. <clears throat> Obviously acting as a resistance during this period that started January. Uh, breaking through that resistance, we went quite parabolic. Coming back down to retest this support zone now in uh, May, in June, and finally in July. And finally, we're back into the support range now in June 2022. The question is, will we support over here or will we drop below? Because if we bounce from here, this could be, could be uh, I would say, setting us up for a nice point of reversal within this range. But of course, if we lose this level, we can expect the price to drop pretty low. We're gonna go ahead and talk about our predictions in regards to where the price will go now. So let's start with the bearish case scenario. So bearish case scenario would be if we lose that lower trend line, which is sitting around $8.51 currently. If we lose that, we can expect the price to fall all the way down to $7.29. And of course, if we lose $7.29, we do have a pretty major support resistance block. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out over here uh, within this range sitting around $6 to that lower range around $5. And this major support block will be that ultimate buying position if the price actually does fall to this range I do expect this to be the absolute bottom for Adam. I don't think we'll see prices go lower than this level over here. It is possible, but I won't be betting on it. So bearish case scenario with buy points, we'll be looking at a drop down from here. If we lose this, this $8.51 range, we'll be looking to open shorts, taking profit at $7.30, looking for that drop down and finally selling your shorts within this range. This will be our accumulation zone our purchasing zone, if we break upwards, we could definitely end up in a new uptrend. And of course, if we lose this level and close some daily candles below, close some weekly candles below, we're looking to offload and sell that position at a loss. So bearish case scenario, overall, it is looking optimistic in the long term. It's coming down to some major support zones. I can definitely say the majority of the crash has already occurred. Obviously from here, all the way down, it's still another 30%, but in comparison to the drop that we have seen from that all-time high of sitting at around 80%, the majority of the crash should technically be over according to our macro structures on this chart. According to the data we have, it's suggesting that the drop should be close to over. All right, so that doesn't mean you should be buying here. This is a sideways consolidation. We can see this area has acted as major support, major resistance. 
Buying within this range is very risky because we don't really have a direction at the moment. We can push sideways until we break upwards or we break downwards um, and then we can create that direction. Once the direction is clear, that is kind of when you jump on the bandwagon, that is when you enter the market and uh, hitch a ride with the trend, as, as you would say. So, bullish case scenarios, price action wise, we're looking for a break over this resistance zone over here, which is sitting around $9.57. We can see this area just holds massive support. We'd expect a move upwards. If we clear this red line, that would be a real safe entry. We're looking for a push higher. And of course our targets lining up everywhere between here and that $17 range is our first major resistance right over here. So target will be taken anywhere between this range over here. Now, if we're talking macro bullish, zooming out massively, we're gonna come back to this in a second when we'll do our technical analysis, but we're talking market structure analysis wise, we're looking for a break over this downtrending resistance, which, is, can, be, which can be input on the chart over here. And this downtrending resistance has acted as major resistance on this chart, obviously we had a fake out over here in our late December, and obviously we had our top over here in September. Um, and breaking through this resistance range would ultimately flip the trend, and we can see this resistance zone is sitting actually underneath that resistance uh, level, that downward sloping diagonal level. So a break over this level over here, retesting that as support could send us into a new uptrend and potentially head back into that $20, that $30, $40 range. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a short break. We're gonna talk about BitGet and I highly recommend signing up to BitGet. 0.02% um, trading fees. And I posted on Twitter not too long ago, you can see I traded around $13 million in Binance volume in the last four weeks and I paid around 13, uh, 13 grand in fees. On BitGet, however, if I traded that same $13.5 million in trading volume, I actually would have only paid $2,700 in fees. So pretty significant, and I've actually made, I've been slowly making the swap over to BitGet uh, lately, just because, you know, 0.02%, you just really can't beat it. And if you're trading high volumes, for example, like myself, if you're a high volume trader, uh, or maybe you take a lot of trades, or you put a lot of capital into trades, um, you're probably better off swapping uh, to these lower fee exchanges, just because, you know, although to a small investor of a few thousand dollars, 0.1% doesn't seem like much, when you're starting to trade high volume, you know, a million dollar plus, $10 million, $100 million, uh, you know, these, these percentages make a pretty significant difference, pretty significant difference. So head over, click the link, uh, you can see over the shorty post over here, or you can click the link into the comment section down below. Uh, just sign up, it takes literally 30 seconds. It genuinely takes 30 seconds. Um, it, it just requires a mobile phone number because it is a non-KYC exchange. So you don't have to store any personal data on there. The government won't know you got your information. Uh, no one's gonna be able to find your cryptocurrency, obviously non-KYC has got a lot of advantages. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna quickly play a quick video and you can sign up there, all right? I wanted to quickly introduce my new favorite exchange, BitGet. BitGet is a non-KYC exchange, which is particularly beneficial for members in the UK and Australia who are limited by certain trade restrictions. BitGet has 250 plus spot trading pairs, as well as 60 plus leverage trading pairs, up to 125x leverage. Sign up now in the link in the description using our referral code to get up to $153 in rewards for completing four separate tasks. Let's go ahead and dive back into the video. Okay, let's get into our technical analysis. The technical analysis chart, we're gonna start on that seven day chart. And of course, we don't have a lot of chart data in the sense that we only really got two years of chart data. Uh, so a lot of these indicators, such as a 200, isn't really gonna show up in the full extent, um, but that's okay, we can we can expand outwards from there. So starting at the Gaussian channel, uh, we can see the price is very well underneath the Gaussian channel. If we go ahead and flip this chart, we can see that when the price is under or over the Gaussian channel, we do expect a push back into the channel at some point. So what is it telling us? It's telling us that the price is oversold, it's overextended. It can't tell us too much more than that at the moment. The Gaussian channel is not really used for this, uh, but it's telling us oversold. And we are, again, like I said, closer to that bottom than you would probably think. Bear, uh, bear market or bull market sport band, I like to call it bear market sport band nowadays, we're in a bear market. Uh, we are very much underneath it, not turning as much. Again, downtrend, very strong downtrend, very much underneath it. will take a long time to flip that again. Ichimoku Cloud, exactly the same thing. Let's go down to the three day chart and we'll see if we can find any differences within the chart over here. So, 300 moving average underneath, 200 day moving average, again, well underneath the 200. 100 day moving average, again, well underneath the 100 day moving average. If we bring up our goals in channel and our bull market support band, we can see we are well underneath both of these at the moment still, and our Ichimoku Cloud is looking a little bit more optimistic. We do have this downward convergence over here. It could be some sort of falling wedge. The, uh, 
the conversion line is coming closer to the price, which is good, but it can signal some sort of entry or some sort of short-term trend flip if that can flip on the shorter term. We'll come back and talk about that in a second. Let's go ahead and bring up the RSI. And obviously the RSI is very, very useful. And we can see we are under so oversold, sorry, on the RSI. And we can go ahead and identify some market structures here on the large time frame. Of course, dragging this along, this is our fake out over here. We have our next point of resistance over here. And I'm gonna go show you on the chart. Our initial point of resistance, we drag it to that next point. This over here lines up with this RSI. So this is how we use the RSI to identify market structures and identify fake outs. We can see over here, we had two points of resistance matching up over here. On the price chart, however, the price broke over there, the RSI did not, therefore that is in fact a fake out. We can go ahead and use that same theory on the bottom side. So looking for points of contention over here, this one over here, lining up with this point over here on the chart. We can go ahead and draw that in, line up with this point over here, draw that in. There is that downward sloping resistance or that downward sloping support we can see on the chart. And of course, we can expand that outwards and we can see some sort of expanding broadening wedge that we do have on the Adam chart over here. Again, representing we could see some sort of bottom out over here. We could see some one more final dip down below. It is hard to tell right now, but what we do know from this is for the macro trend to flip, we do need to break over this upper resistance on the RSI. Let's go to the daily chart. We're gonna go daily, then we're gonna go ahead and break it down to a very small time frame, you know, four hours, and take a look at the, the short-term price action and see what we can find. So same things on a daily, we're gonna go ahead and just remove some of these things to make it a little bit more clear. We'll go ahead and get rid of this line too. So Ichimoku Cloud, same thing, very, very tight over here. Look how tightly that conversion line and baseline are coming, sitting above that price action, acting as a current resistance, current suppressor to price, but it can flip at any time. So we're keeping that in mind. Bull mark support band is getting very, very close. Again, looking for a break over the bull mark support band. And of course, if we break that $11 range over here, we will break over that bull mark support band. Gaussian channel, again, not telling us too much currently. And our moving averages shouldn't be telling us too much right now either. Let's go ahead and take a look at the short term time frame. We can see that we are in fact very well consolidating within this range. We do have a few different macro structures I can identify over here. First and foremost, we can go ahead and identify some short term trend lines. Obviously our first and most obvious short term trend line with this downtrending support line over here and resistance line. Let's go ahead and see if we can find any confirmation within this chart on this point over here. So taking a look over here straight away, we can identify points of resistance, a point of resistance would be this point over here. Can we line it up with anything? We don't really have much. We have an uptrending resistance over here, line up to this point over here, indicating the price is gonna fall. It fell, obviously a bearish divergence. Uh, moving from there, we don't have too much. I can't see too much. I can see this downward sloping resistance over here, lining up at point one, point two, and we have this gap between point three and our, our downward sloping resistance again. What does this indicate? Well, it indicates we do have this uptrending support, downtrending support, and again, this is what we would call a pennant. So pennants that enter from the bottom side up, we expect a continuation downwards, and other way around, we expect a continuation upwards. In this instance, the price did in fact enter from the top side down, right? Entered from top downwards. We do expect the price to potentially continue downwards here. We do have this very weak support line over here at around $8.51. It is slowly losing strength. It is slowly losing strength. We do have a lot of retests down over here. We have a lot of retests. And finally, we do have a break over here. It is losing strength. So if we lose this level over here, we can expect this price to continue at least down to $7.25 in the short term. I would be very, very shocked to see this price push upwards here and break past 11. Now, I do think it can push upwards, but I don't think it's gonna break past 11. However, if it does break upwards and breaks over these little highs we're forming, I would expect to see some short, sort of move upwards in that short term, a potential entry. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video around. Obviously, we do a lot of variety of different updates, daily videos on Bitcoin, market updates, technical analysis, all our videos are quite in depth. So as you can see today, we start from the start, we build it up, we teach you guys what we're doing and we show you exactly and we explain what we're doing with some data. We're not just showing you things, we're telling you exactly how it works, why it works and why it's important to listen to. Now, if you're interested in trading signals and more updates similar to what we saw over here, you can check out our VIP channel on Telegram. You can see it over here. We post a variety of different updates, trade signals, VIP posts, uh, more or less just trading signals. Um, and you can go ahead and join via the comment in the pinned comment down below. You can see our month to month trade results since February 2020. Every single month we're having significant profits. Even in down months, we have very, very high profits, 300, 400%. And we do not trade 
We do not trade low cap coins. We're not here pumping, dumping low cap coins. We trade pretty moderate to high cap coins. We give you very good entry points. Uh, we can go ahead and show you a trade signal, for example, over here. We have our entry points over here, our targets, our stop losses, and our possible gains. We always make sure to post a trade within the entry point or before the entry point, so you're not scrambling to get in, and the trades don't really move you know, within a minute of posting these trades, like a lot of these groups pump and dump these low market cap coins and claim to have amazing profits, when in reality, it's just pumping and dumping. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and contact me. And of course, if you're interested in the Crypto Academy course, you can go ahead and contact us via cryptoacademycourses.gmail.com. What we do there is we teach you in 10 weeks or 10 units exactly how to trade. You'll go from a beginner or anyone with about one to three years of experience to a level of experience or knowledge at least like myself. The experience comes at times, you have the knowledge, you have the capabilities, you have the tools and you'll have the understanding to apply technical analysis and derive information from charts just like I do within these videos and you'll be able to actually do these analyses yourself. Now the potential, potential profits from that are astronomical if you're thinking about you know over a lifetime this information doesn't really change. It's based on mathematical calculations and data so you know that doesn't change the information is there for a lifetime. So if you're interested in learning how to trade or if you're interested in becoming a VIP member and following my trade signals go ahead and contact me. I look forward to joining you a part of the team. Thanks guys.